Hi, this is Eric Martin with Board Game Geek News. I'm here with Alexander and Ar uh, Arnaud from Grosso Modo Editions, uh, looking at Nosferatu, which is uh, due out when? Yeah, it, it's, um, it's a game where uh, two teams are uh, fighting against each other. There's an evil team and, uh, the, um, and, the, and the good guys. <laughs> Uh, the evil team is uh, uh, played by the, the vampire, and uh, it's Rian uh, Renfield uh, who is helping the vampire. And uh, the other, other guys are the hunters. So uh, each player plays a character, which can be uh, so like Renfield himself. Ooh. Okay. Vampire uh, helper. The vampire, or some. That, that's that's the bullet team. So that's Renfield, uh, the vampire, and some uh, hunters. Okay. Vampire hunters. Uh, in this game, uh, each player plays a character, a secret character, ex except Renfield, who uh, that everybody sees. So everybody knows who is Renfield. If you play Renfield, everybody knows you play Renfield. Okay. And the vampire is uh, hidden among the uh, hunters. And only Renfield knows who is the vampire. Okay. And uh, in the game, each player... Oh, give, give one to each person? Yeah, okay. Each player is going to give to uh, Renfield a card. And uh, based on those cards, uh, Renfield will perform actions. And those actions will help the vampire to win. And the vampire wins by biting the other hunters. And the hunters win by killing uh, the uh, vampire, okay. thanks to the eternal stake. Okay. Um, and uh, therefore, Renfield has to help the vampire to bite the other hunters. Without, of course, revealing who but, the vampire is. Yeah, smartly enough so that it's not too obvious. And of course, then uh, you have two ways of identif identifying who is the vampire by guessing based on behavior and the psychology and what uh, the players say. Uh, but you also can try to uh, detect the vampire through the tactics of the game, through the, the, the cards which are played by the, um, by the players. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know if there's more, or do we just we yeah, have we the can, gist uh, here? Just pretend that we can, I can show how the, the game is set up and show like for, for a turn, for example. So, uh, the setup is, uh, you put, uh, everybody has a character, you put uh, some uh, um, rituals, which are uh, actions that will help the hunters, mm -hmm. okay? Uh, Renfield gives the stake to one of the players of his choice. He would start the round. You set up uh, what we call a clock, which is basically... Uh, Some night cards and one dawn. Exactly. I see you've read the... <laughs> I read the rules. <laughs> Try to pre prepare for these. Uh, so these night cards and dawn. And there's as many night cards as there are players, plus a dawn card. Okay, and uh, and the game uh, can start. You have the special card that you put like that. Each player right now has two cards in their hand. They're gonna draw two cards. They give one to Renfield and they discard one. Exactly. Face up. Yeah, I forgot that they start with two cards. All right. And everybody, every, each one of them is going to give pick up at its turn two cards. He will have four cards in hand. Each player will have four cards. I don't know exactly which, what they are, and they will discard one card. They will show to other players what they discard. So it's an indication of... Possibly. They, yeah, possibly. And they give one secretly to Renfield. And you do that. Each time a player play, plays, we turn an, uh, a, clock, uh, a card from the clock, and uh, the round starts, and the round stops when the Dawn card is, uh, is turned, or all the players have played. Uh, now, the action that can be performed depends uh, on uh, the cards which have been given, obviously. If there's a bite card, then Renfield can give the bite card, can put the bite card on any of the players. The Vampire and Renfield wins when there are five bite cards. Among all the... Among all the players. When a bite card is given to a player, he has to get rid of one of his action cards. So he had two at the beginning, and he draws two, so he, has to, he can choose between four cards, but when it's beaten, he will choose only between three cards, and you can go up to two bytes per player. So he will, one player might have only two cards, which he will draw, and he will have to choose one that he discards, and that one, that, uh, the other one that he gives to Renfield. And so I was saying that the action cards, uh, if you have 
only uh, component cards. Yeah, thank you. If you have only component cards, then the hunters can use one of the retools, which are removing one uh, byte card from uh, which have been a bit, uh, put on the table, or reveal one of the character, which is quite powerful, or remove one knight from the from the clock. Because the more often the dones comes uh, during the game, and the more difficult it is for the vampire, because because hunters might have to throw bites in. Exactly. If the it. if the hunters decide to combine, uh, let's say, an attack and say we will all put component cards to to Renfield, then they can use a ritual. But if you're the vampire, you'd say, oh yeah, I'll put a a component card, but instead he will put a a bite. So if the dawn is drawn after three players have played and there's a bite. You know one bite, of those. Yeah, probably one of those. Unless the vampire says, hey guys, I don't have a component card, I only have bite cards, so I'm sorry guys, I will have to give one bite to Renfield. And then, yeah, you can discuss and believe him or not, but uh, that's... Um, uh, and basically that's all. Then you have uh, an extra rule with uh, uh, this card, which uh, uh, once a bite card has been put on the table, you turn this card the other side, and uh, this is eternal thirst, and that's when the, the vampire has that is a dose of blood and is happy. And when the library is, what we call the library is the, the pile of uh, the stock from which we take these action cards. When it's empty, if no bad cards have been put on the table, and you are like that, then the, the vampire has a penalty. Right. And uh, we reveal one of the character's cards. And you're right, that's the answer to stake. Uh, when uh, the players, uh, think they have identified who could be the vampire, the player which has the eternal stake can decide, okay, I kill you at this turn, I, I kill this guy. And if it's, ta -da, if it's, sorry, if it's a hunter, then the hunters lose. And if the, it's a vampire, the evil team uh, loses. I would say only yeah? a character can uh, use it uh, uh, on daylight. Daylight is uh, correct. A when, the dawn is, uh, when the dawn is when the dawn is appears, you can use the eternal state. Only, only correct. Thanks very much for the overview. Yeah, and uh, my pleasure. <laughs> Happy.